Hi, everybody, and welcome to the NIT. Brad Nessler alongside Dick Vitale. Thanks for joining us for this first-round matchup between the Pennsylvania Quakers and the Buffalo Bulls. Number one is the player who deserves our attention in this contest tonight. He's the complete package. He seems to have a knack for coming up with the big plays when his team needs them. Be it a bucket or a stop, he delivers. The Bulls will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Bulls are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First of all, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Second, make sure you eat up the boards. And lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. High post screen. And the ball goes out of play. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when the guy is open. That's a special art, feet in the post. From the top of the key, it sticks. the dribble gives it up ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man good fake jump hook from the low block I tell you the jump hook so effective especially against a big post player very difficult to block that shot great steal I think the pressure was just too much tremendous pressure just enough to force the steal gets it to go Right now, got to focus defensively. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Here's a double team. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you front it we're going to move it around the perimeter great block shot oh my goodness that was unbelievable baby you bet you Looking for a screen on top and got it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Down inside, takes the pass in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. possibility coming for two he gets it to fall that's a seven nothing run on the outside trying to feed the low block Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you Post flashes up high if he wants it. Number 42 gets the ball. Looking for the foul. We got to see that one again. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They work the perimeter. 
The center takes the feed. Trying to draw some contact. Look at that shot. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> There's a double team waiting there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Now trying to feed the low block. He looks at the hoop. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. They go into the low block. Turns it over. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. And that's basic. They've left him completely alone. Way off target. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Both teams looking to get things going here. They're working around the perimeter with the fake. Number 25 is charged with the foul. There's the trap. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Moving it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. It's no good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He's got some room. He launches a three. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Pushes it up. Some frustration right there. The point guard takes the pass. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. And in and out. Inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. They still don't score. Gave it up. The power forward gets the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The small forward with the ball. Nice high post squeeze. Puts it up, looking for contact. <laughs> They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any open. Pressure in the basketball. Leans in. Number 34 with a finger roll. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Great 
anticipation defensively. He gave it up. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it there. The senior leader drops it in for the score and gets the foul. He's playing the way they thought about a play, baby. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the top of the key. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Look at that spacing. He bombs from outside. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Is number day. They got him under lock and key, Brad. He takes the shot off the baseline. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. And that guy has 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> Makes the block. Coming inside. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Off the rim and no good. Pushing that basketball. Dick, he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Well, it's just about that time here in the first half for an update. Dick, in your opinion, how is our focus player doing so far? I tell you one thing, doesn't he look like the 3S man? Super scintillating and sensational. Second shot is no good. Gets the third. He fakes the shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. Nice fake. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. The fake. From beyond the arc. Off the rim and no good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Fakes it. 
He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. With a bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. They're not giving him a chance to get it to transition. Great command of the floor. Number 15 is called for the foul. Third team foul. He goes to the free throw line. Hits the first shot. He can't get one to fall. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. He tries the three. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. From left of the circle, he hits it. him as an offensive player and he made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us basket falls despite the contact all right let's check in third member of our team again here's Aaron Andrews well Brad and Dick I don't know if you can hear it but I can hear it clearly down here the coach is stressing go inside go inside they've been affected all night long that way what an asset to have guys all right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Another look. The drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Tries for two. He blows the inside hoop off that set screen. He shows the sweet touch. Was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> that spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Working it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Buried it. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For two, and in and out. Number 25 is eager and excited to compete. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He shoots from the low post. He gets the bucket to fall. In the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. 
He puts it in with contact and all. They work it around the arc. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. The offense is having big trouble shooting against this zone. Yeah, because they're not penetrating the gaps, then kicking it out. They've got to attack if they're going to be successful against the zone. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Right, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. He tries the three ball. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. They're working around the perimeter. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, bro. Number 22 checks in off the pine for his first action. Hey, this guy will tear it up if you let him, Brad. He buries it. He got it. That's a Manilon, NBN. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Off the rim and no good. That's just great hustle and great defense of the steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Up and inside. He shoots from the top of the circle. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. There's a high screen. Great play to take that to the basket. for one opportunity. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Looking for a good shot. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Gave it up. Got some room. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Shot clock is dead. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Entry pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. The ball goes out of play. Number 15, pump fakes. Here's a double team at the end of the first half. The Quakers are trailing by 22. Looks like we're in for a whale of a game, Dick Vitale. Plays of the half, what's your pick? There were some good highlights in that first half, but you gotta look at this one. Watch how they got the ball inside for easy scores, which forced the defense to collapse, opening up the perimeter game. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds.
Pennsylvania coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half. Day. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Our focus player update, Nick Vitales, going into the second half. And what does he need to do? Do you think? I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Number one has got and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Okay, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. He attempts a jump hook in and out. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that bad bit. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. And the ball goes out of play. Post flashes for the ball handler. He takes the shot off the baseline. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. That's basic. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. He tries a jump hook. They still don't score. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From three-point range. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Five-second count winding down. He shoots from the elbow. He hits the shot. We get another look. Moving it around the perimeter. For two, can't get the shot to drop. The cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Gave it up. He fires from long range. That was nice. On the outside. He unloads. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen.
He shoots from outside. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Now they work it around the perimeter. He takes the shot from the baseline. He gets the bucket. He puts up the tray, gets it to fall. Went away from the post and goes the other way. In the paint for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. Up and in. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. Up and inside. Picks off the pass. Look at that spacing. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He rejects it. They move it into the front court. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. three-point land. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. perimeter he shoots from long range way off target here's the offensive drop step in the low block but better defense I tell you the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline tries for two and in and out looking for a good shot Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He unloads a three. Makes the shot. They scored seven in a row. with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you gotta blocks the shot that number's right here for two easy one that's nine unanswered looking to move it around the perimeter unloads a three great shot that's a nice looking play right here. Work it inside and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He gets the shot to fall. Let's 
See if they can get a good shot this trip. Number 25 steals the ball. They keep forcing them to sit up in the half court. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beat him to the spot. Can't get the shot to drop. On the outside. There's a double team waiting there. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He takes the three, knocks it down. The Bulls have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. And he missed. off the lazy pass. Pass is stolen. Terrific gamble on the interception. Step out on that screener. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Time to pick up the defense here now. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Takes it away. Fires it down. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Takes the shot. Tickles the twine. The Bulls are ahead by 25. Working around the perimeter. With a bucket. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Number 22 comes up with it. Way up, draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby, that's his name. I like that in a player. Number three looks to record his first minutes. He provides nice push offensively and defensively for this puck. Sinks it. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Look at that spacing. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Stolen away. The dribble gives it up. Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. They still don't score. There's the trap. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. But inside. From the top of the circle, number 21 from downtown. Now 
Now they work it around the perimeter. Up and inside. There he is, strips the ball loose. Now they push it the other way. Hammers it down. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He hammers it home. That's a 10-0 run. Good timeout right here, though. Settle down, get that timeout. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Has a nice look at the basket. Controlling the ball. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Way out on top, controlling the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And off the mark. Moving it around the perimeter. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Looking for contact. And in and out. Number 13 grabs it. How's he working him defensively? I tell you, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. High post flasher is open. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Number 21 is pounded on his way up. He is going to the line. He hits it. Misses the second shot. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Jumps in. The land. Accepted. From the top of the key, way off target. And he scores despite the hack. Got the shot.
shot if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Now the turnaround jumper doesn't go. Working it around the perimeter. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. They work it around the arc. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. And a momentary look from three-point land. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. from the top of the key. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Gave it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. For two, in and out. As a personal foul. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play! Number 42 goes to the line, shooting two. Makes the foul shot. Second shot is no good. Intercepted. Puts up the shot. That's good. Pushes it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's open if he wants the shot. The Bulls have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Clock is dead. Up and inside. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Pushes it up. The shooting guard handles the pass. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Buffalo comes away with a win. The team has got to feel good about a win like this. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler. <laughs>